Now to new concerns about the effectiveness of sunscreen with spring break right around the corner and millions of Americans set to hit the beach. There's a push to get the FDA to approve new ingredients used in Europe but not here in the U.S. that better protect against the sun's most harmful ultraviolet rays. Three and a half million cases of skin cancer are diagnosed in the U.S. each year. And for more on this, ABC senior medical contributor Dr. Jen Ashton joins us. Good morning. Good Great morning. to see you. Why is it so much easier for the Europeans to have stronger ingredients? Look, this is a frustrating situation for the lay public and for health professionals alike here. And it's really all about the process that we undergo here for products to get FDA approval. It's in place to assure the product, is it safe? Is it effective? Sometimes that process is better here. Sometimes it's worse. It's definitely different. So what is it going to take for the FDA to, to modify their regulations now? Well, they have to test these products. And when you compare the products that we have here to what they have in Europe, you know, Europe's products tend to be uh, more thorough, more complete, more broad spectrum. They cover both the UVA and the UVB rays. They stay on longer, they feel better on our skin, and they potentially have less absorption into our bloodstream. But before we all pack up and uh, move to Europe to get these products, <laughs> you know, it's interesting because if you look at the skin cancer statistics, Biana, in Europe, let's say in a country like England, they haven't declined significantly since these products have been available. So it's something we're going to have to watch. And, and what is your recommendations? We said that, that spring is already here. I forgot <laughs> right. what my arms and legs look like now. It's been <laughs> exactly. so cold. But when I go out, I buy, I see SPF 30, I see 50, I see 75, I see even 100. Right. What is your recommendation as to what people should buy? I mean, buy? people, first of all, should apply sunscreen every day, not just in the summer. They should look for products that block both UVA and UVB rays. They're both important. They should cover up as much as possible, especially the face and hands, the areas that are exposed all the time. And look, if all else fails, you can embrace that lifeguard image and go for the good old zinc oxide, the white stuff, mm -hmm. which is very effective. It's just that it's a Doesn't little unsightly. So right. <laughs> exactly. but th this goes for moisturizers and daily wear use as well. That's right? correct. So very it's something important. we'll be watching. All right, Jen, great to see you. Thanks. You too. Also yeah. big sun hats work as well. Yeah.